Now, a hot topic for the entire 5G industry is virtual RAN or VRAN technology and its development. For a level set, we're viewing VRAN as a methodology of virtualizing network functions and enabling them to be controlled by software platforms using commercial off-the-shelf processors or COTS. Now, Open RAN is a methodology of disaggregating the RAN and providing open interfaces. And this extends the principles and objectives of VRAN design. So Open RAN is an effort to open the RAN altogether. The ORAN allowance, uh, for example, is working on specifications to open the interface between the RRU and the DU, and even further between the DU and the CU. So VRAN does not have to fully align with Open RAN per se, although the two are frequently joined at the hip across industry discussions and so forth. So over the last decade, Intel specifically has shown the world that VRAN uh, on general purpose processors are competitive in terms of power and performance compared to a traditional network architecture, i.e. A, pr a proprietary one. I believe Intel the recently reached a milestone in announcing the commercial availability of its latest and most integrated VRAN solution. That is the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processor with Intel VRAN Boost. And it's the yeah. VRAN Boost that's really the new part. Yeah. Now, can this I, can, I add, can I add something there, Ron? This sure, is, you bet. This, this is really important um, that they finally came out with this. It's a big deal. Uh, the press release gives all this information. But I'm sure you're going to talk about it, but it's incredibly important in the VRAN space, what Intel just announced. Amen. Yeah, I think uh, that, uh, the industry as a whole is receiving it that way, and we'll definitely bring that out more. And uh, uh, so uh, as a little background, uh, Todd, this was first launched at Mobile World Congress uh, 2023, you know, back early in the year. And the processors are designed for powering high performance, power efficient VRANs naturally. Now by fully integrating VRAN acceleration directly into the CPU, Intel has now eliminated the need for an external acceleration card now. So as a result, this design innovation, Intel VRAN Boost is arguably that breakthrough that you just pointed out, Todd, for the entire VRAN market, let alone uh, the entire 5G ecosystem. So uh, by eliminating the acceleration card, it not only can reduce system complexity, but it can also provide substantial power savings. And we'll definitely drill down on that. In fact, uh, the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processor combined with Intel VRAN Boost delivers up to twice the capacity and an additional 20% compute power savings versus the previous generation. Now that's a gain of more than double the performance per watt for network operators. And these new processors also include features that optimize workload performance for packet and signal processing, as well as integrated acceleration for our other hot topic of the summer, AI, and naturally machine learning applications. Now, uh, how's this being received as you touched on, Todd? Well, for example, Rakuten Mobile has collaborated with Intel since the launch of its mobile network in Japan. And the introduction of, I see, the fortune Intel Xeon scalable, uh, scalable processor with the VRAN boost capabilities represents the next phase of their collaboration to simplify telco operations and decrease costs with integrated acceleration and increased energy efficiency. Plus, Deutsche Telekom's tests under selected scenarios showed a two-fold capacity gain using approximately 20% less com uh, power compared to the third-gen Intel Xeon processor. And now DT expects this will also enable a reduced network infrastructure footprint among other benefits. So, you know, the generational processing improvements are critical because this is going to help drive naturally the, the long-term growth of VRAN uh, itself, but also, uh, as uh, already uh, pointed out, Open RAN as well. And uh, we'll see how they're tied together in uh, more examples. Now, at this point, Todd, now what do you see out there that's driving more VRAN innovation? What do you see the mobile operators in particular doing of note? Well, actually, there's some really interesting things going on now, Ron. What stands out to me is that the Rakuten Mobile has collaborated with Intel since the launch of the Rakuten Mobile network in Japan. And the introduction of this new fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processor with VRAN Boost 
I think represents the next phase of their collaboration between these companies to simplify telco operations and decreased costs with integrated acceleration and increased energy efficiency. That, that integrated acceleration is really important. It gets rid of another component. It puts more things on the chip. It, it's, a, it's a brilliant idea to minimize the, the hardware and maximize the performance. I, I think it's really a great thing. Now for Vodafone, the long-term collaboration between Intel and Vodafone is also uh, present. And that's key to the company's target of achieving 30% of its European network on open RAN by 2030. That's quite a goal, but they're aiming to, to make it. Um, I believe the fourth gen Intel Xeon scalable processors with Intel VRAN Boost can be a strategic platform to de deliver the efficiency and performance needed to deploy open RAN in dense urban environments at scale, which is a very tricky thing to do. So they're, they're working hard to make it better. Yeah, and I think yeah, Rakuten Mobile definitely deserved uh, you know uh, honorable mention twice because as we've seen recently they had some leadership changes and uh, but they are staying the course and this is I think uh, a tribute mm -hmm. to Intel's capabilities. Yep, I think you're right.